Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your uh, oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Gemini. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Gemini with clear, concise message from you. All right, so my gems. All right, so we asked very distinct questions in this reading so that we could at least touch all bases. You know, if the entire reading doesn't resonate for you, maybe you'll pick up something and leave what doesn't, right? So coming into the reading, we asked, uh, Will Gemini meet anyone new, any new person, any new love? And we got the uh, Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles talks about um, needing to make time for opportunity. Um, so maybe you're working too much, you're just not giving enough time to put yourself in a place to meet anyone new. Um, also, the Six of Pentacles talks about maybe meeting someone new who is very generous, very giving, loving. Um, they may shower you with gift or show their affection by way of gifting you or giving you something tangible. For some of you, you are meeting someone new. You already have somebody here in this reading. Um, and they have been breadcrumbing you, giving you just enough to keep you hanging in there, not more than what they have been giving. They're not willing to go above and beyond for you. They're not willing to take their relationship to the next level. It could be that they have someone else or they're dividing their time, their energy, their resources. Uh, they feel like the power dynamic lies with them. They have the power. You wait for them. You wait for them to tell you when they'll see you, when they'll hang out with you, when they'll come to you, when we'll do this. And then there's another person that they do the same thing to. So maybe this person is feeling very boastful because they're in the power position and you're in the receiving because the six of pentacles talks about the good and the bad of giving or and or receiving. But it looks like clarifying the six of pentacles is the queen of pentacles is some some of you are just going to really jump into your worth, understand your worth understand um, what it is you bring to any and every table here not taking less than what you um, what you desire some of you have a strong desire to become a parent here um, and you feel like dealing with this person you're gonna miss your opportunity you also um, you're just realizing your worth and understanding that you're deserving of someone that uh, matches you here and you understand your catch you are a catch. You are a good catch. You have um, a lot to bring uh, to any situation. How this person, this significant person for some of you is viewing you is the change card. Okay. They feel like something is changing with you, the bad health. Okay. And the child. Okay. So how they view you is, um, taking off, wanting to have a change, leaving things that don't serve you behind you because you just, you want change and you understand you can't pack all of this stuff up with you. Some of you are going to be physically relocating. Some of you want to, this person is viewing you as wanting to change out of maybe a sex only type of friends with benefits dynamic. They want, they view you as want, wanting a new start. A new foundational start maybe even a child or wanting to start something between uh, you and them they view you as wanting as coming to the energy very innocent very childlike fun exuberant wanting opportunity wanting to seize the opportunity here um, they see you either they see the relationship either going into a change of bad health like things just not going good um, and maybe you even starting over solo, going it alone, moving on. How you see this person, Gemini, is the main male. Okay, so you see this person as the main man in your life, um, in your energy here. Uh, 
you see them as as the person that's in your life. This is your go-to person. Is it a solid, super committed relationship? Maybe not so much. Um, there's still an air of frustration, um, remorse, and resentment that you have towards this person because of their selfish nature and their selfish ways. What rests between the two of you is pathway. So it looks like the both of you want to go in a new direction here. Um, or the both of you see that you're going to have to split, split hairs, okay? Um, split the path, maybe even go it alone. Also, the both of you feel like you have been patient with one another. Maybe one to two years dealing with not having a title, maybe not being the girlfriend or the boyfriend, just friends with benefits or friends or um, we've been engaged, but we haven't set a date for marriage and things of those natures where you've been patient and dealing with something. But you see the light at the end of the tunnel because you're going to make your own light by way of either um, having some significant change in your life and moving forward. The advice for you, Gemini, is, um, I ask the cards with the advice, is, it's the King of Wands and the Four of Cups. The advice for you is, um, they want you to, uh, take on that spirit of leadership here, you know, um, you may be getting some psychic downloads and your psychic abilities are coming in strong for you. Um, therefore you're seeing things differently. Um, your point of view is different and you're, you're seeing that maybe you could be missing out on an opportunity, um, staying stuck or stagnant somewhere because the four of cups talks about stagnation. Um, you see that somebody is highly selfish, um, self-centered, um, and, and the resentment and the remorse for actually putting your love, care, affection, nurturing into this connection is, is being highlighted for you. You're seeing through somebody's attempt to keep you blind or blindsided or to blindsight you. There's a, a need for you, Gemini, to keep balance within yourself, okay? And right now you could be deeply attached to your home you just staying home and doing home things. Um, there is a desire for you to take action, especially if you are self-employed. Just expect that your bit, your business to flourish and, and prosper in a short amount of time. Um, you might have to reject something or you might, ha or you might feel rejected by someone. Right now, the cards want you to concentrate on your own feelings and um, they want you to be focused right now as you as you are focused on your own viewpoint because um, someone doesn't see the blessing the gift that you are or the gift that you can be in this relationship right now you're in a very dreamy meditative state but not in a very um, manifesting going after your dream type of state if you're asking the question will someone change it's maybe this person is very self-absorbed and there once again is stagnation okay and this could be bringing you to a place of depression because you keep you keep fantasizing about what this could be how it could be how you guys could move forward the advice also at the bottom of the deck is the queen of swords you're gonna have to cut away what doesn't serve your ultimate goal viewpoint what do you want for yourself if it's a person place or thing that is not going to add to or add value to your dream your goal that's what needs to be cut out the queen of swords understands that um, in order to have a new life some things can't go with you just like in that nine i mean in that change card which is a nine you're going to have to go it alone um you're going to have to move on you're going to have to leave some things behind pack some shit in the car leave a whole bunch of shit behind um and that's a metaphor for maybe you know leaving people places things behind but you're gonna to have to understand that everything and everyone can't go with you 
not on the journey that you plan to take for yourself. The Queen of Swords also says get counsel before um, making significant change here too. The Queen of Swords says um, that you have a lot going on for yourself. Be the executive in your life, okay? Put yourself first. Uh, the Queen of Swords says analyze what's going on for you, okay? Um, be tunnel visioned on your goals and very focused, okay? Um, use your intuitive skills, okay? Because there might be a need for you to have some solitude so that you can tear down the old to rebuild and get new. Yeah, get wise counsel to overcome some of these challenges here whomever you feel is wise go to that person and you know converse with them in terms of what you should do you could live alone you're very independent forthright um, you might have to be cold and critical at this point so that you can see something come to fruition be the executive you know in your life all right so gemini i hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you gemini many blessings to you take care